now from JP. We're going to continue to listen throughout the night. We're getting, uh, I think, a little bit seasick from the adrenaline waves every time there's a pass, but uh, we're going to continue listening for the rest of the night and are hopeful that we'll hear uh, in another hour or two, or, or another hour. Thank you. Okay, we'd like to take questions now from JP. We are uh, halfway there. Uh, I think we'll have a good chance of knowing whether we'll be able to communicate with the probes uh, at the end of these first five passes uh, that will be going on this evening. But certainly after that, if we don't hear from the probes, we will continue uh, to try to communicate with them uh, for at least another two or three days. Flies on a fairly gentle slope, of which we believe is less than about two degrees uh, in slope. And it's on a uh, very interesting feature that sort of lies on a sort of an amphitheater. It's just off of a ridge, and you can see it as the uh, scene rotates here. Uh, yes, Jim Hill from CNN. Can you think of a single scenario that would account for the failure of communication with both uh, the probes and the lander? You mean a, a single thing that would cause both of them to have occurred? Um, not separating? The cruise stage not separating would be the only one. And do you know for a fact it did separate? No, we do not. Okay, I 